Someone just told me that. I had no idea that I had gotten it so deep. I just remember it being a quick throw in, maybe a pass or two. Um, and then I just kind of carried with it and I felt like the Jersey defense kind of set off me a little bit. Um, and yeah, I just took my space, head up and thought I could go for it. I, I honestly didn't think I could score from there. Um, but I just, I tried my best on it and happy that it hit the back of the net. A typical story of ours is that we usually go up early in the game, and I think we've let our foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Um, I felt like we did that today, but there was also a side of us that brought so much grit, so much hard work. Um, we fought for those three points. I think Jersey was kind of taking it to us towards the end, and we didn't have girls stopping. We had bodies behind the ball. We had players running their tail off, um, and that's what you need to grind out wins in this league, and I'm really proud of my teammates today. I'm really proud of the work everybody put in and um, the subs that came on. You know, they did excellent, and uh, I'm just really happy to walk away with three points. With Vero coming out in the first half, how much does that change the attacking dynamic? Losing Vero is detrimental. We were um, bummed for her. We didn't really know what had happened on the play, and unfortunately, a little bit of a knock, and she had to come out, um, and she's a crucial part of our attack, right? She's such a um, she's got such a foothold in that midfield um, for us, so missing her is tough. I was really pleased with the substitutions that came on. I thought we, we tried to fill the gap as best as possible. Um, and again, we came out with the three points, which we're really happy about. Just kind of big picture a little bit. Eighth game, kind of third of the way, that kind of seems like a kind of a, a landmark a little bit. Just kind of, uh, you, you talked about it a, a minute ago, kind of, it's kind of been a little bit story of the season, but just kind of where do you think you guys are at kind of this third of the way through? Yeah, hitting that one-third spot um, kind of really is an eye-opener for us because um, there's only two-thirds left of the season. We know that um, every game is crucial. Getting points early on feels so much better, so you're not chasing towards the end. Um, a huge goal of ours was to make the playoffs this year, and we got to keep trekking. we got to keep getting those three points, and tonight help us do that. With it being the World Cup and so many players out with their national teams, how crucial is that, those three points during this stretch? So we miss our national team players dearly. I think we've got six out right now, and um, those leave huge holes in our, in our game plan. Um, but we know that um, this month-long little um, stint is important for us to gain as many points as we can um, until we can get those players back. But, um, again, really proud of the team and, and the players who are out there working hard, our bench, all of us are putting in the work so that we can um, get as many more points as possible for when our national team players come back. Obviously, Barney's going to get credit for the shutout because goalkeeper, and she should because she mm -hmm. was pretty good. But was there are, – are you seeing that emphasis on kind of the total team defense that everybody – you mentioned everybody getting behind the ball and then the back line cleaning everything up. Are, are you seeing that more and more as the season kind of comes in? And that, I mean, that's what Laura likes to talk to us about is total team defense. So are you guys kind of feeling that a little bit more? Defense is a huge part of this team, and it's the reason why we win so many games, and it's the reason why we walk away with so many clean sheets. Credit to Barney and Gold tonight. I thought she did excellent, some huge saves for us. Um, but all around, the team defense was excellent as well. We just kept going and going, and we didn't give up. And, um, you know, that's what it takes to win in this league. And credit to our defense, credit to the whole team, credit to Barney tonight for, you know, keeping the clean sheet. Last one. Okay. Um, you mentioned we were talking about the World Cup a second ago. You've obviously been there. It, there's kind of the idea of uh, this is a little unrelated to the game itself, but you kind of, kind of the World Cup bump, kind of the the increased attention on. It. Do you hope that happens league wide? That kind of the attention that's happening with the World Cup has a trickle down effect with with interest in in the league. I guess the World Cup is huge for women's soccer and and the visibility for this league. Um, I hope fans are, are excited about the World Cup, enjoying the World Cup. Um, I hope we can gain a few more Royals fans for the Utah people who are out here. Um, and, again, it's it's a really exciting time for women's soccer, and I hope that there is a trickle-down effect with our NWSL. Um, and, and I hope people come out and watch because it is an exciting game, and we've got some excellent players in this league.